Hey, what is poppin' guys? Welcome back to our channel. This is Pop Lizzy and Steffi. Yo, so today's video, as you guys can see the title, we actually did a Q&A off our Instagram. So if you don't follow us on Instagram or any type of social media, make sure to follow us. We're gonna leave it in the description down below. Are y'all ready for these Q&A questions? Juicy Q&A. So juicy no, they were Q &A. both Q&As, it's just, I guess. You gotta juice it up a little yeah. bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Um, other than that, let's get this video started. But first, we have to sip. sip yeah, the so wine. meanwhile, Steffi is pouring us some wine. Um, I think we do. We should do the normal questions first. Yeah, until we get a little, little later, we'll get a little bit of tipsy and answer you guys' juicy questions you guys asked us on our Instagram. Yo, <laughs> god damn, you're trying to wine and dye me tonight. I'm like, after the questions to be Yo. read, you're gonna want to. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, guys. Guys, if you are new to our YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up and turn on that notification bell so you can be the first ones to be alerted every time we post up a new video. video. Let's get it. Steffi's already snacking on my oh, strawberries. It was so hot. I'm just a foodie. Sheesh. Hold on, guys. All right, guys, so on to the first one. So Baja Beach Fest 2022, are we going? Because I definitely want to go. I say it's too So if you haven't watched that video or that vlog, it was lit. I'm going to leave it in the description. Baja Beach Fest 2021. Yo, that shit was lit. We got lit. Yeah. It was a three day sheesh. Yeah, it was fun and I love dressing up. I thought that was the funnest part. How did you and your wife met or meet? We're actually not married. Sorry. I know I always say husband, you know, it's his wife. Yeah. We're she not hasn't, married. What she's waiting for, but she hasn't married me. Mm. Life happens. You know, coronavirus started. I was pregnant with my daughter. Before that, I had my surgery. But the question was, how did you and your wife meet? Oh. Mm. You want to tell them or I tell them? I don't know. You exaggerate sometimes. So we met in freshman year. The first day of school when I saw her, it was over. I was like, yo, like, who's that? <laughs> like, Woo, you know what I mean? Like, who's that? He was like that because he already dated all the girls from that city. Here we go. <laughs> it's the truth. Yeah, so we met in high school, freshman year on the first mm -hmm. day of school. My cousin was actually his, we, one of his friends. We, we met through, uh, we met through actually, her cousin. A lot of my cousins knew you. So I met her cousins before I met Steph. Mm -hmm. um, and that's how I met her because, funny story was, the first day of school I saw her cousin and she was with her cousin. And then, so I just went to say hi and then, um, yeah, the rest was history. And we had six period together. Yeah. Uh, it was so we the had, we had six period together and that's what like, literally, God put us on six period. And then we literally, happened. it was the last cast of the day, and I saw him enter the the hall, and we were literally like walking past, and I was like, please don't, please don't turn into my class, and we literally sat right in front of each other. I'm like, fuck, we're in the same class. <laughs> you know, you went back home. You're like, Thank you. <laughs> no, no, it's not true. I have letters, you guys. That I will read to you of how much I dissed him. Sad. Okay, but I'm glad I did it. Mm. How did you become so successful? Listening to me, always listen to your girlfriend, wife, spouse, baby, mama. Always. <laughs> not always, but listen to them. But not always, because um, yeah. Why are you looking at me like that? Yo, you guys see that? You see how she was <laughs> looking at me? Yeah, I was just kidding. No, but how did we become so successful? Honestly, uh, it takes two. Okay, look, he's the uplifter and I'm his rock. So I don't let him float away. Get too crazy. All right. What advice do you give someone who wants to be successful in life? Advice to be successful in life, something I've learned? Wait your time. Your time will come. And I feel like something that you guys also miss right now, it's one of the easiest times to blow up, to to get known because of all the technology that, that we do have. 
go on TikTok, literally put how to become successful, literally, everything is there. It's just you have to put in the work. What do you think about fake people? Well, what do you think about fake people? Well, this is what we think. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just kidding. Um, I think you, we need, really you need a little bit of everything because like without fake people, you 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 have to like live and go through fake people because that's when you're really going to know how to appreciate the real ones it's a cycle of life you need the good and the bad it's a balance yes i think you're gonna you need to hit a couple of fake people to get to appreciate what you really have like the real ones so we just do us and you, when it's the right people you know correct you'll know so just stay positive planning on any trips soon Ooh, that's a good one you know we what? want to, but we can't plan because yeah. well, with all this COVID shit going yeah, on, yeah, with all this right COVID now. stuff, too soon, too risky. What is one thing you love about Stephanie that people don't know, and and vice versa for her? One thing I love is getting her mad, and people don't know this. <laughs> what the hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. that is not. One thing I love getting her mad. Right? It's saying, what do you like about me as a person? Oh. Gosh dang it. She always goes out and help other people. She gets out of her way to just help other people, like, a lot. And I appreciate that from her. And a lot of people I know for sure appreciate that from her. She has a big heart. So one thing that I love about Paulo that you guys don't know is that, like, he is the only person that can literally be like, you know what, Steph? That's life. Like, Trust me, as long as like, like, like he doesn't let little things destroy me. And I think that's really important because I feel like I let a lot of things get to me. And he's, he kind of is like the only one that's like, yo, like he knows how what to say at the right moment. And I think if you're a close friend to Pablo, you guys have had that where he like, he, he's crazy and all that. But when it comes down to it, you need to hear the words you need to hear. He's the person. Like bullshit aside, I think he's the one person where like he's gonna tell you how it is and and just makes you realize that life is so much bigger than what how we feel at the moment or how we let someone treat us or how we let something, you know, hurtful change our mind about something and I think he's a person, like he's really honest. What's our nationality? When we lived in Washington a lot of people would tell us that we were that we looked like we were um Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern, yeah. Middle, Middle Eastern. Eastern or we, we got Italian before. Yeah. Or maybe you have, but I, I don't know for sure they've asked when it's both of us, Middle Eastern. We've asked if we were, if we were brother and sister. Yeah. Oh, our, our, our minions. We, they thought we were Armenians also. So we're Mexicans, Americans, pretty much. Can you guys adopt me? <laughs> like, I have too many kids, bro. Is it we a have, girl? We have, we, have, uh, <clears throat> we have three kids. We'll adopt you though, we'll adopt you for the fourth. <laughs> What's your favorite music to listen to? Hmm. Hmm. I think it's a variety. For me it is, like I can listen to anything. I can listen to country, I can listen to rap, hip hop, uh, Latin. Um, I can listen to oldies but goodies. I like rock, I like alternative rock. Yeah, but what's your favorite music to listen to? Well, it depends on my mood. Well, you already know mine is perreo, perreo, perreo. Mine is a reggaeton shit. It's always been my shit since fucking 2002, 2004, since Daddy Yankee, Don't Know My, Wishing Yandel, Tal Calderon. Back in the day, up to right now, to Bad Bunny, mm. fucking Anuel, Mike Towers, Alejandro, J. Cortez. I can name you every fucking artist, Latin artist in the world. Anyways. So my shit reggaeton, I do listen to hip hop and I do listen to uh, corridos and romanticas, all that shit. I do listen, I, you know, I like alternative rock also. I love alternative rock, um, you know, but just like the old school stuff, you know, more like in the days of uh, Blink-182, Green Day, Linkin you know, Park. Linkin Park, those type of, uh, of bands. Anuel or Bad Bunny? Mm. That's hard, but you know what? I actually just saw Anuel's, um, um, what is it, interview? Oh no, what was it? Uh, drinks, the drink you win? Yeah, it's a little interview they had going on. Yeah, and honestly, like, lucky I kind of fell in love with him. <laughs> just kidding. 
<laughs> no, but heck? if you guys haven't watched it, you guys need to go watch it. It's actually pretty interesting. And that's why I don't really like to watch interview shit. I mean, interviews like that. But that one was really funny and interesting. Like, it, I was like laughing most of the time. So yeah, I feel like Anuel right now kind of has a little... Okay, with me... More to Bad Bunny, because Bad Bunny's with been me, lucky. With me, it's going to be... Look, it's, it's my... It's my Anuel, come on. Who's better, Tupac or Biggie? Who? Who's better? Mm, Who I feel like, like I listen to Tupac more. So you can go with Tupac? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm from the West Coast, so I gotta go with my boy Tupac. Rest in peace to him. Ooh, this one's a good one. Who the fuck... Yeah, it's probably one of the goodest, the best questions I've, I've, I've heard right now. Jay Cortez or Raul Alejandro? I'm gonna have to go with Jay Cortez. Just because uh, he's popping right now. He's popping. Yeah, he is. Raul Alejandro's popping too, but... He's on the low key. Who would you wish to collab with? We're open to opportunities, but obviously we're, like Paula said, we're settled in and whoever comes our way, you know, we're willing to make something happen. You know, we're an open book. I wouldn't mind collabing with anybody. Like, I don't care if you got one subscriber or a hundred subscribers. Or no subscribers, literally just or, fun yeah, content. Or, or even a million subscribers. Do you love living in LA? Let's make this one short. Um, I didn't think I was gonna love it as much as I do. I don't know how, if that makes sense. No, yeah, because it, it, it took me a while to convince her, like, hey, you know, like, let's <laughs> move to LA, let's move to LA. You know, because I'm from LA, you know, like, uh, I was born and raised in LA, and then I moved out towards that side. When's the next penthouse party? Like, as soon as, honestly, we're gonna do a, like, a home, a housewarming party, and we, we do wanna throw a big one, but right now, I'm literally down to just the guest room, and I kinda wanna make that so, like, unique, and that's what's taking me forever, because, yeah, it's hard to get the pieces that I want, and that's what I've been waiting for. So, like, if we do collab with someone, hey, you guys are more than welcome to stay the night. Yeah. And, yeah, we want to make it so it's, like, damn, like, you're, you're literally, in like, in a vacation getaway. That's what we want, the feel of the guest room. Yeah. Hi, I am a big fan. Oh, thank you. We appreciate you. Now we're on to Stephanie's Instagram. See what y'all post. Okay, so it says, how old are we and how long have we been together? So, <clears throat> we're 27. Both I'm about of us. to be 28. Oh yeah, in February, but. Next month. He's 27 at the moment, and so am I. And we've been together for, since 2008. 13 years. Oh yeah, 13 years. Um, 2022, future goals by yourself or what you are most thankful for in one word. Just more loving and more open to opportunities because I feel like I'm so like, well, I, I am loving, but like, I tend to close off because I'm, I'm very protective of myself, I guess. So I guess more, more optimistic. My future goal is to reach at least 50K subscribers on YouTube. 50K at least this year. That's our goal. That's so big. And it's going to be hard, and I know that, because yeah. a lot of people think y'all watching us, but y'all really think YouTube is easy. It's hella not easy. It's hella not easy. Trust me. Yeah, it's honestly one of the hardest it's things like, to do. It's like, this is a job, a real job. Um, what do you look forward in 2022? Um, a lot of memories, a lot of good times. Um, and to be surrounded by loved ones. Fitness and being healthier. Yeah. That's like our main thing. <laughs> and smarter, smarter decisions. Yeah, and smarter decisions. Are you going to marry Pablo Z? I want a small wedding, and he wants a big wedding. And I think that's why no, we- No, I wanted a big wedding. I don't know more. I feel like you still do. You honestly, you're like the person that says, oh, I don't want any gifts for Christmas, and then when you don't give them any, you're like, what the fuck, where's my Christmas gifts? <laughs> Your favorite cereal. The fuck? That's a good one, that's a good one. Really? Honestly, it's, I don't have a favorite cereal. Mine would be uh, Captain Crunch. Okay. Any more babies? I don't think so. I feel like we're too busy. We got three and that's it. 
Two boys, one girl, she's the last one. Boom, done deal. I mean, you wrapped it up. Yeah, love from Pakistan. Hello, Sunny. Shout out to Pakistan, let's get it. Uh, what's your fitness secret? Surgery, surgery, surgery. Wait, well, no, babe, they're talking about me. Oh, oh Pablizi, okay. Uh, Pablizi is beer, Whoa. liquor, beer. Just liquor, liquor, Lift liquor, bottles. liquor. That's it, lift bottles. And. and <laughs> Okay, um, what size are your boobs? Um, so I have... <laughs> Men have size boobs? What the fuck? Okay, so my, I have 520 cc's, but in total with my own fat and the implant, it's 780 cc's, close to 800 cc's. So like if my whole boob was an implant, it would be 800, 780 to 800 cc's. Oh, size of bra. Uh, size of bra, I am a 34F. Okay, what advice would you give to your younger self? Um, don't let outsiders affect your mindset or your heart. It's always, you know, your loved ones and the real ones that are around you that should always um, have first place in your heart and in your mind. I think for me is don't let anybody tell you you cannot do it because you can that's like my main thing that is his main thing that's so don't funny. let Literally. nobody tell you you can't do it because if i did it you can too if you could be any animal what would you be Ooh. i would one. be a bird i would be a i would i would be a bird because i like to like i like views i like to see the world hey don't Honestly, be corny if you're a bird i'm a bird if you're a bird i'm a bird <laughs> i think Ah, it's hard to what decide. is that movie from? If you don't know it, you're not the one. Real? Uh, not cool, man. Babe! <laughs> real? So, <He> said real. <laughs> oh, I would, um, <laughs> if I had a chance to be an animal, I would be, I would be an eagle. For some reason, I'll be an eagle. Babe, that's a fucking bird. No, it's not. It's a fucking bird. That's a big bird. The bay, you had to pick a different animal. Uh, I'll be a fucking dog. <laughs> I'll be a dog. Oh, you're not laughing. You no are more, a huh? dog. You're not laughing no more. You huh? are a fucking dog. Yeah. No, for reals, for reals, um, I will be. I'll be a tiger. I'll be a tiger. I will be. My official answer to that is I'll be a tiger. Tiger? Really? I want to be a tiger. Okay. Go get him, tiger. I'm used to being a tiger at night. You're stupid. What was your first job? What was your first My job? first job uh, was being a barber. I started cutting hair at 14 years old. I worked at Macy's. And honestly, the funnest job, because I worked in the cosmetics section for Lancome. And yeah, funnest thing ever. A threesome with your husband. The <laughs> fuck? Well, Who the fuck asked that? Y'all nasty. I don't, even, I don't even think I could say that on, on camera. So, how much money y'all make on OnlyFans? Asking for a friend. Only a lot. Fans. We make a lot of money on OnlyFans. We're just under different people's names and a different profile picture. Yeah, because then it's kind of weird people knowing. Like, We're very you know. secretly on, <laughs> on OnlyFans. Do you like me? Oh, yes, yeah, we, we do. Yeah, we like you. We like yes. you, yes. Is Steffi a writer? Hello. <laughs> yeah, she's a writer. Yeah, I heard what I said, right? She's a writer. Oh yeah, look. That's what I meant. I'm a writer. <laughs> Y'all nasty people. <laughs> Do you guys kiss in public? Um Honestly, we're so busy. Yeah. Dinner or like on cute little dates, yes. But honestly, during the day, I don't. Honestly, I don't even have time to freaking. We don't have time to eat. Sometimes we don't have time to. Yeah, sometimes we eat breakfast like at <laughs> three in the afternoon or one. Yeah, literally. we're just so busy because it's like literally. Because and you know what it is is that we party, and then we're like work, and then we're moving, and then we're switching, and then we're buying. So that's what it is. Yeah. So I guess not as much as we should. But that's gonna change. You know, we're calming shit down now. Why don't you change that right now? How long did it take for the first time? Very long. He was a bad boy. 
I'm just kidding. Um, it took us about a year. Yeah. It took us about a year. A year and one time. <laughs> it only it took, took us one time to, to get knocked up. Yeah, it took us about a year. Hey, the and even then, it was it was it was one year, and it was it was we were still too too young. Yeah, we we didn't know what we were doing. Got pregnant the first time, blessing <sighs> in disguise. But you're a lucky man. Thank you. Who asked who first? Hmm. Who asked who first? Like dating? I guess yeah. You. But a birdie told me. No. Nah. Just kidding. Oh, I was like, who the uh, wrong bitch? Wrong bitch. Do you guys poop in front of each other? <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, no, nasty. Pablo's poopophobic. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um. Yeah, uh, Paula doesn't let me. Yeah, I don't let her. I close the door or she he comes in. He is. He, I, he wants me to, to see that day. he smells like cologne 24-7. <laughs> um, and for the most part, yeah, he, he does smell like cologne 24-7. Have you guys done it in the car? Who hasn't? Yeah, we have. Every single car we have, guys. I'm just kidding. So if you ever bought a car from us, I'm sorry. <laughs> or you ask us to borrow our car. Like, you don't fucked touch up. <laughs> Your fantasy place to do it. Mm. Airplane. Jet. Same shit, babe. Say another answer. <laughs> Is Pablizi still a champ in bed after 13 years? <laughs> yes. I wouldn't be Why? here. Hey, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> Who the fuck is asking these questions? Both of y'all celebrity crush. Hmm. Wayne Johnson. The Rock. That guy's old already. Oh. Why don't you go somebody young like me? Like, I'm gonna go with Kylie Jenner. She young. I would not. I would not. You remember the old guy? No, I wouldn't switch it regardless. Because it's not Kylie just Jenner. his physique. It's what he stands for. The way he is. It's all yeah. of the all of the above. What's your guys' favorite position? Hmm. Why well, not her? She likes it doggy style. So mine, I like it when I like it when Steph's on top and she's kind of like squatting but facing me. Hey, the only the only place I get my squats. In. I think I think that's hella sexy. Like I think, and the reason why is because like. You can see everything, you know what I mean? Like, too much info. I'm like, damn, boy, uh, so, save it for the OnlyFans. <laughs> what grosses you out about each other? Mm. Spitting, loogies, disgusting, fucking gross. Like, ugh, like I will literally fucking throw up if I see you spit a loogie. <clears throat> I know it's normal, but for some reason, I don't know why, but it's just normal. Um, when she, when you, when you blow your nose, <laughs> I don't know why, but it's just like when, when I'm eating, like we're eating, and she needs like fucking thirty napkins because she's blowing her nose. Okay, times. but I eat spicy like, stuff. That's what he doesn't get. And I'm just like, oh, and I can't tell her nothing. <laughs> what the heck? Yes, you can. No, but hey, look, I, she's just being her. She's human, but but it's because I eat spicy stuff all the time. I'm sorry. Yeah. What's Stephanie's favorite nail shape at the moment. Hmm. What is it? If They're asking you that. No. It says what Stephanie's well, that's favorite fucking easy nail because shape at the moment. Recently you had, and I don't know if you tried it new or you liked it, but I fucking hated it. You had your nails like almost pointy. <laughs> so I know you liked it, but you hated it. Yeah, I, I, feel like, yeah that's, that is. I fucking hate it. I liked it too, like, because it's like sexy, you know, yeah, long, it's, yeah, I love it's it. pointy, it's sexy, but it's just, yeah, it gets I was in poking, the way. I was poking everyone, yeah. Like, it just gets in the way of everything, so. Yeah, okay, yeah, you got we it. Love it but you got it, guys, you passed the test. All right, who begs and says sorry more? I don't do things where I need to apologize for, so. And me, on the other hand, if I'm right or wrong, no, I just he make just likes right. to get me mad. I just he said make earlier, right. he likes to get That's me what I'm mad. Saying. So you I'm always say wrong, sorry. I just want to make things right. 
First and, he makes them wrong and then right. And and I can't go to sleep mad. Like I, I don't care if I fucked up or she fucked up. Like yeah. I can't go to sleep mad. Like I just I just can't. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I think I'll say I, I I will. I'm the one that says <clears throat> sorry more, and I'm the one that begs more. Don't get me wrong, she does it too. But who, but get, who, out of, who gets in trouble more? Me out of let's just say out of fifty times, I will say. 45 times or 48 times, I will say sorry and beg, and she won't even beg or say sorry twice or three times. But because I watch what I say, yes or no? Let's be honest. Yeah. And you are more blunt, or you're more what? How do you say it? You're, he's more careless. He's in the moment. Whatever he feels, he says. All right, guys, this is the end of our video. We hope you liked it. We hope that you got connected more to us. Um, and you got to know us with some questions that our fans asked. Mm -hmm. And if you guys still want more questions answered, feel free to send us DMs and we'll go ahead and make a part two of this video. You make sure you subscribe, destroy the like button, and turn on that notification bell so you can be the first ones to be alerted when we post up another fucking video. banger. Oh shit. Another hey, we're video. Um, someone asked something right now before we end the video. Um, do I do anal? And for that answer, you have to subscribe to our OnlyFans <laughs> to find out. We've been patient. Girl, you know how I've been. More than a friend. Yeah, I love you to the end. So we going to the top. Because you know we gon' pop. Man, it ain't like us. Because you know we been hot. So we looking for love. Maybe it's us. Just me and you. Maybe can I give her? Nah.